Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Glory to God. Dear praying parents, I bring good tidings this morning from the Lord God Almighty. And I thank him for all that he has been doing for us as parents and as children. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for all that you have done. And as you have laid in my heart, we're going to be praying concerning our children, um, receiving help, timely help in time of need. In the name of Jesus. That's what you have laid in my heart. And that is exactly what we're going to be praying about. Your word to us, God's word to us in Isaiah 50 verse 7 says, For the Lord God will help us. Um, therefore shall we not be confounded, and therefore we set our faces like a flint, and we will not be put to shame. That is the infallible word of God to us, and that is the word of God to our children. Remember, the things that are hidden, they belong to God. But the ones that are revealed, they belong to us and to our children. And so this morning we are thanking God for that word, that is a sure word of assurance of help at you know as and when needed. So there will be no disgrace, there will be no humiliation, there will be no defeat. Our children will not be confounded in the name of the Lord Jesus. For the Lord God will help our children. For the Lord God will help our children. For the Lord God will help our children. For the Lord God, the Lord God, the Lord God. Almighty, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rohi, Jehovah Sikenu, Jehovah El Shaddai, the Almighty himself will help our children. Therefore, they will not be disgraced, they will not be confused, they will not be humiliated, they will not be confounded, they will not be defeated in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That is the word of God to us today. And that's what we're going to be using to pray, basically, for our children. Um, you know, no matter how old your child is, no matter uh, the gender of your child or of your children, at every point in time in their lives, they have needs. Some of these needs they are able to articulate. Some they are not able to articulate. Some of these needs are easy for us to understand. Some, we cannot comprehend them. But there is a God in heaven, the one who has made them by himself, the one who knows them. That is why the Bible says that the Lord himself will teach our children and great shall be their peace. And so today we are going to be praying that they will receive help as and when they need it. We might not be there and we might be there. But it is not everything that our children need that we are able to give them. God has not made us to be um, the sole source or the sole channel, rather, because God is their source. He has not made us the sole channel to reach our children. And so we're going to be lifting them, consciously lifting them before the Lord. Some children are going through emotional problems. Some of them, they don't like how they look. Some of them, they think they're not doing well enough. Some of them, they think they're not good enough. And the devil tells them so many lies in their hearts. You know, um, they hear many things from school. Some teachers use careless words. And these things get to them. They might not even know how to explain it. They might not even know what is happening to them. But it just weighs them down. And all they need is a word of encouragement. All they need is you know, parental security. All they need is um, maybe just somebody to listen to them. Maybe somebody to counsel them in school, in church, at work. Maybe they just need a godly friend. They just need the divine intervention. Have you ever been through a situation where you know that, hmm, this thing that just happens is because somebody is praying for me somewhere. That is help. Help just comes as and when needed. And for our children, they will not be stranded in the name of Jesus. They will not run from pillar to post in the mighty name of Jesus. And that is why I want us to pray. Praying father, praying mother. 
Pray for your children by name. Pray for your children by name. Call their names and say that the Lord God is helping them today. They will not be confounded. They will not be disgraced. They will not be humiliated. They will not be defeated. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Some of them are going through battles in, of the mind. You know, the mind is a battlefield. Some of them are just in the midst of what's next. And they're just confused. They're just discouraged. But the Lord God will help them. In the name of Jesus, as their source of help majorly and any channel of blessing that he wants to use to reach them, we open them up to it in the name of Jesus. Our children are helped of God. Our children are helped of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, when they need comfort, they receive comfort. When they need help, guidance, they, they, they receive guidance. When they need encouragement, when they need support, when they need to hear the right words, when they need to have a heads up. When, they need, when their hearts of understanding needs to be enlightened or their eyes need to be opened to understand what is going on around them, they receive it. They receive the help. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, your sons, your daughters, my sons, my daughters, they are helped of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you today. We bless your holy name. I want to read quickly from Psalm 118. It's quite lengthy. So if you can, get your Bible. Thank God we all have smartphones and our Bibles are there. I want us to read together. There is power in reading the word of God. And we are declaring these words into the lives of our children. And I tell you what, it will come to pass in their lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Psalm 118. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good because his mercy endureth forever let israel now say that his mercy endureth forever let the house of aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever let them now that fear the lord say that his mercy endure forever amen i called upon the lord in distress the lord answered me and set me in the large place we are praying for our children today, Psalm 118 and verse 5. We are calling upon the Lord concerning them that if they find themselves in any distress at any point in time and they call upon you, O oh God, you will answer them in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will answer them and set them in a large place in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Our children will not be stranded. Our children will not be disgraced. Our children will not be confounded. Our children will not run from pillar to post. In the name of Jesus, we call upon you, O Lord, on their behalf. And we pray that any time that they call upon you as the God of their fathers and as their God, O God, that you will answer them, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father, for answering our children when they call out in distress. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The right help that they need at the time that they need it, they are released upon our children. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we hold the hands of the altar. We stand in the gap for our beloved children and we pray today, O oh God, that when they call, you will answer in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 6 says, The Lord is on our side. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Our children will not live in fear. Man can do them nothing because the Lord is on their side. The Lord is on the side of your son. The Lord is on the side of your daughter. In that thing that is happening right now, I need you to stand in faith, stand in you know, affirming the word of God that the Lord is on their side. They will not fear. We will not fear. What can man do unto our children? If God be for us, who can be against us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 7 says, The Lord taketh my path with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. God is on the side of your children in the name of the Lord Jesus. Everyone that is said to help them, the Lord will side with those ones because they are channels of help sent from him. And those helps will locate our children at the right time, at the right time. Spiritual help, physical help, financial help, emotional help, all manner of help. Whatever they need part time, wherever they are on the surface of this planet. 
of this earth or wherever they are found. Malebo sata la brosha that the Lord will take part with them that help them. God will help their helpers. God will enable their helpers. God will strengthen their helpers in the name of the Lord Jesus. And for those that hate them, hmm, the Lord will cause them to see their desires upon those that hate them. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because the Lord will not stand on the side of the evildoers. The Lord will not stand with the, hate, with the haters of our children. He will only stand with their helpers. As parents, we are declaring today, O oh God, according to Psalm 117 verse 8, that we trust in you and we put not, no confidence in man. You're not even trusting in our ability or our children's ability to do anything. And we're saying you are the one who is able to help them and we are committing them into your hands for timely help in the name of the Lord Jesus. We trust in the Lord. We put our confidence in him and not in princes. All nations compass us about, but in the name of the Lord, we will destroy them. No matter what compasses our children around, no matter what comes against them in any way, because the Bible says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it and they are safe. Therefore, therefore, <laughs> all nations that compass our children run about, but in the name of the Lord, our children will destroy them. Our children will stand as victors in the name of the Lord Jesus. Verse 11 of Psalm 1 and, 7, 1 and 18 says, um, They compass me about, yea, they compass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Even if they double their strength. Your children and my children will not fall prey to their enemies in the name of the Lord Jesus. Verse 12 says, They compass me about like bees. They are quenched as a fire of of thorns for in the name of the lord i will destroy them the name of the lord is fighting for our children the name of the lord is releasing help unto our children in the name of the lord jesus if you know the particular point or particular area where your child needs help begin to address it now and say in the name of the lord and when you see the Lord write that, like that written in both letters, L-O-R-D, in uppercase, it's referring to the Lord of hosts. <laughs> no matter what compasses our children are all about, even if they double their strength, in the name of the Lord, our children are victorious. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Thou hast trust so at me that I might fall, but the Lord helped me. That's Psalm 13, Psalm 1. 18 verse 13 no matter what is thrusting against our children from whatever angle from whatever direction that wants them to fall that wants them to miss it that wants them to miss out but the lord will help them in the name of jesus i decree concerning our children today they are helped of god they are helped of God as their source of help. And every channel of help that God will want, you know, as placed in their parts, in their parts, rather, they will locate such help. They will access help as and when needed. Please add it to it that my children will access help as and when needed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Remember that our God is the present help in time of need. And verse 14 of Psalm 118 says, The Lord is my strength and song and is become my salvation. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is the strength of our children. The Lord is their song and the Lord has become their salvation in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for answered prayers. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Glory to Jesus for another precious time that we've spent watering our gardens, praying for our children. That is what we do. We are parents on a mission and we are so deliberate and precise about committing our children to prayers constantly and continuously. And today, again, we have done just that. And we have, you know, asked for help in advance.
You know, here we have an understanding. We are not um, asking that, um, we are not saying something happened and we are running elter skelter. No, we are praying ahead of time. Scripture says to pray without season. So we are praying ahead of time. So when our children need all of these things, they just access it cheaply because it's already there. It's already settled for them. Just like when you open an account for your child. We have opened prayer accounts for our children and we are crediting it. Each time they need a withdrawal, mm, pronto, they get it withdrawn. Hallelujah. Our children are helped in the name of Jesus. God is the source of their help and every channel of help that God has placed, you know, for them, they access it as and when due in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Like this, if you have been blessed, share this with other other parents. Let them pray for their children. Our aim is to have children all over the world being prayed for from time to time, consistently and continually. So share this video, share the good news and bless a child. Protect a child today in the name of the Lord Jesus. And the Lord will reward your work and labor of love in Jesus' precious name. If you are watching on YouTube, Please subscribe to my channel and like this video so you can get um, an alert when next I post a broadcast. And also you can go ahead and check on my Facebook wall and um, my YouTube channel for all the prayer points that you would want to pray for your children. I also still go there. I still draw out those prayer points and I pray them over my children. She do the same. The Lord that we call upon is the one that hears prayers and answers prayers. Amen. Father, we thank you for answered prayers again today. For this is the confidence that we have in you. When we pray according to your will, you hear us. Thank you for being our children's helpers and our helpers too. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. God bless you and see you again soon.